InfuseLearning.com is a free student response system that allows students to respond to questions in a virtual manner using any internet connected device. So basically you have your iPad and the students are able to, whether you would like multiple choice, free response, or a diagram of some sort, students can respond on the iPad privately. And then you can see whether they have mastered the objective or not. InfusedLearning.com is a really easy site to use that allows all the students to basically, those who don't want to answer out loud because they get the answer wrong, they're embarrassed of not getting their answer correct, answer on the iPad and then you can display or you can choose not to display the scores or their answers on the screen. So it's a private way of you assessing them immediately, being able to go to them and say, okay, why are you getting this wrong? If they're constantly getting the wrong answer, then it allows you to give them immediate feedback. This works for math, in my math and my science classroom. It can also work in a reading classroom where you have literature circles and they have to interact with each other or interact with you and respond to a question about how the author's feeling or respond to a moon phase question or a fractions question. Infuse Learning is free, first of all. It, you get a teacher login using your email and a password, and then it opens up sort of like a chat room or a group room. And you allow your students to log into that group, and when they're part of that group, they enter their name, so you automatically know who's working on what iPad and what their response is. So if, for example, Mario is not getting the right answer, you know what Mario is missing, you know what objective he's missing because he's constantly answering the wrong question. Kids nowadays grasp technology faster than we do. It took about maybe two tries. I was able, I have fifth graders, but I was able to guide them how they're logging in, how to go to infuselearning.com. I put it on the board. The group number was constantly displayed on the board. So if their iPad froze or they logged out for some reason, they were able to quickly log back in. And I was able to see on my laptop who wasn't logged in and what happened to their iPad. I have fifth graders, but it's applicable to any grade level, any age, if the teacher manages it well and constantly shows them how to log in, how to use the group number, how to type in their name, and it's very easy for the kids to learn how to use it. Aside from InfuseLearning.com, the kids can use Edmodo on the computer, they can use Edmodo on the iPad. It brings more attention to what they're doing. They're more susceptible to using or answering or completing the assignment as opposed to not answering because they want to use the iPad, they want to use the technology. Pencil and paper, they take a longer time. They sit there, they think about it. And with the iPad, they're constantly manipulating. They want to type, they want to respond, they want to touch, they want to draw. And that's one of the good things about InfuseLearning.com. It's not just multiple choice, true or false, A, B, C. It's draw me the hexagon identify the vertices. So the kids have to change the color to show you what kind of vertice is, where are the edges, and that sort of thing. It's not just one medium or one way of answering. They have various ways. Open-ended questions are also there. They are able to go home and turn in assignments at home as well if they have internet access. If they don't have internet access, when they use Edmodo, if I have an assignment, I give them a one-week window. That gives them a chance to do it at school, in the computer lab, that gives them a chance to do it at the public library. So they have a one week window to turn in the assignment. On InfuseLearning.com, they can draw. It has a drawing board, right? Um, on Edmodo, they're able to upload videos, upload pictures, links. I can place anything that's educational, and most of my kids have been doing that. One of my students who I did not expect was going through YouTube, uploading moon phases pictures, videos on the water cycle, which is great because not only she's watching it and reviewing, but other kids are able to access that information and they're reviewing as well. You open up Safari and you type in infuselearning.com. It should take you to a screen where you see a teacher login, student login, or a sign up. Very simple, you click on the teacher login and you put in your email that you're going to be using with infuselearning.com. If you don't have one, you can sign up for it and it's very simple. You sign up by putting your first and last name, your grade level, email address, and then you select a password for you and you repeat the password and you submit. It's important that we use technology in the classroom 
but it's important that we use it and it doesn't hinder the lesson. If it's hindering your lesson, if it's hindering what you're trying to teach, then the technology is pointless. So that is why before using InfuseLearning.com so much in the classroom, I had to walk them through the steps, I had to show them, because it's a lesson in itself. You need to practice with it, you need to be able to be well versed in it so that the kids can feel calm while you're using the technology in the classroom. I played with it maybe about two weeks before I actually introduced it to the kiddos. Simple things like drawing a smiley face, changing the color, that way they'll be comfortable with the technology. Content is definitely more important than technology. When we were using the iPads, they understand that we're learning something through the iPads. It's just a means for them to be a little bit more engaged and willing to participate. So I always make it a point to ask them at the end of the lesson, so what did we learn today? We played with iPads and they always can answer, no, we used Infused Learning to compare fractions or compare uh, shapes, to draw shapes, to understand them. In essence, they're going to grasp the technology faster than we do. So it's a really great tool to use in the classroom.